the little car ferry that goes from Opua to the Russell side. Isn't this just a slice of paradise? On the car ferry, off to Russell. Look at all the beautiful yachts. Just an awesome day. Had just the most amazing morning at Opua School. But it was actually kind of inspiring because I had um, a passion, but I never thought I could do it. So it's, it's about convincing your subconscious mind. And it's about making sure by reading it aloud every morning and night, you actually end up dreaming about it and your subconscious gets convinced. And when you convince that little inner person, then anything you believe you can do, you can do. If you believe you can do it, you can Hi, do it. My name's Max, I'm 12 and I thought it was pretty good and it taught me a lot of new things about how to, um, a lot of new things, where to go in life and how to do it. So, I am you. Darcy and I'm 11 and I go to Russell School. Um, thanks for coming to our school and teaching us stuff about how to handle money and doing how to go about our futures. So what did you think of my four step, five step formula? Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. Hi, my name's Duncan. I go to Russell School. I'm 12. Uh, I really enjoyed the story. It was pretty cool. And it, it showed me how, money, how you can be good and you can save money and it was really good to show me uh, where I can go in life. Thanks for coming to our school today, really enjoyed it. Um, the children sure, sure got a lot out of it. It was interesting to listen what passions that the children had in their lives and I'm sure that those children that got up and spoke will fulfil their dreams. Um, I thought it was a good way that you related your monetary thoughts to the hare and the tortoise because many of the children will have heard that story and they will relate to it really well. So thanks again, and we'll see you. Oh, and don't forget to send us a corporate sponsor if you can. Russell School. My email address, wfuller at russell.school.nz. I have this new lady. <laughs> hey, Lucas. Oh, Lucas. Double vision. I think we're just going to start with the story. We've got lots of versions of the tale of Tortoise Buffett. We've got an iPad version. Has anyone got an iPad at home? Who's got an iPad at home? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, do you see what's written on the back of my shirt? Who'd like to get this book for free on their iPads? Wow. So, so, does anyone know what they want to be in their... Stand up and tell me. A soccer player. A soccer player. Who are you going to play for? Um, Chelsea. Chelsea? Yeah. Now, who's your favourite player? Uh, Missy. What's your name? Ruben. Ruben. Now, if you got 50 books out on the best soccer players that have ever lived, do you think you'd find one really amazing book about soccer and how to get better at soccer? Amongst 50 old books? You would find one. And if you worked together with your coach and said to your coach, this is my mission statement, and this is what I'm going to do in my life, this is my different, definite major purpose in my life, you think he could work together with you and that book and make that dream a reality? So all you have to do is write it down and communicate, and people will just help you. That's all you got to do is write it down and communicate. People help me every day. I got on my bike, and people gave me brand new tires, a new basket, new water bottles, just everything I wanted. I got a 40 year old bike. My dad's bike. Is that a police officer? Any particular specific type? Congratulations, you want to be a policeman. Now, do you know you've got to go to that training school and train them? You heard about that? Again, if you write that down and you go and visit a policeman 
and say to that policeman, this is my definite major purpose in my life. Do you think that policeman would sort of talk to you yes. and give you some guidelines and what you've got to go and do and what you've got to be really good at in school? And so when you're at Trentham, what do you have to do? Read, read. So how many hours per day do you think a billionaire reads? Five? Who, any other thoughts? Ten. Ten. I reckon it'll be somewhere between five and ten hours a day that Warren Buffett spends reading. He doesn't do anything. All he does, what's he do? Read. It's called assiduity. Assiduity. It means, do you want the funny version or the real version? Sit on your ass until you do it. <laughs> now the real version is intense, hard work, focus, integrity, to keep at it, an intense focus to keep at it to get to where you want to be. It's Russell Anyone School, and it's been just a fantastic opportunity to share with the children here, and William and his team, just awesome people. Incredible what they're doing for the children. And of course, William would love a sponsor to come on board and help with our books. Here we are at the car ferry on our way back from um, Russell going back to Opua. Because synchronicity, it's that energy field when you have a definite major purpose in your life, synchronicity takes over and it creates the most magnificent coincidences that happen every day to make your dream come true, to make your passions become a reality.